I'm Peter Block here at ACC 2019 in New Orleans. On my left is Sanjeev Shah from Northwestern. Uh, Sanjeev and I have been talking about his trial called the Panache trial. I always wonder where these crazy names come from, Sanjeev. Panache is such a great name. In any case, nalodosinin, right? A drug that is an adenosine alpha-1 receptor agonist. You'd think that would be something that'd be helpful. So let's educate some folks. Why should nalodosinin be a good drug? Well, you know, I think going back to heart failure with preserved EF, HEFPEF, we think it's a multi-system disorder. So not just the heart, but the skeletal muscle and other organs. So we'd love a drug that improves mitochondrial function in the heart and the skeletal muscle, improves circuit 2A activity, anti-ischemic cardioprotective effects, increases energy substrate utilization, uh, decreases myocardial fibrosis. I mean, the preclinical data for nelodenosin showed all of these things. It's a partial A1 receptor agonist, so you don't have all the untoward effects of full agonism, like bradycardia, neurological side effects, and renal dysfunction. So we really thought, hey, this might be a really good drug for heart failure with preserved EF. Then, and along comes Panache, right? <laughs> yeah. So Panache becomes a randomized trial with and without nelodenosin, right? Yeah. And what'd you find? Well, it was, a, it was really a dose-finding study, 300 patients with HEFPEF, documented HEFPEF, and we had, we had a lot of criteria, structural, BNP, et cetera, and unfortunately, there was no dose-response relationship for the primary outcome, 600 walk test distance, or any of the secondary outcomes. Wait a minute, before we go into that, HEFPEF being preserved ejection fraction heart failure. Let's yeah. make sure everybody yeah. understands yeah. that. Yeah, yeah, so yeah, these patients had heart failure, they had elevated BNP, they had left atrial enlargement, or LVH, and they had the HEFPEF syndrome. Yeah. So. Yeah. And those are always tough patients, aren't they? I mean, treating them, regardless of how we try to treat them, is the hardest, right? Yeah, the, yeah. the bathroom scales are probably the best way to take care of these folks. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, so having said that, what else did you find? Well, you know, what we found was that the drug was safe, well-tolerated, no major adverse events. And so we asked ourselves, were the patients even taking the drug? And did they even get absorbed? And did it have a pharmacological effect? And what we found was that compliance was high, tolerability was high, the drug was being absorbed, and we did see a pharmacological effect. So we did see a slight reduction, dose-dependent reduction in heart rate and GFR, which we expect. So we think the drug was doing what it was, it was, it was it had a pharmacological effect, it just didn't have any improvement. No improvement in heart failure for these patients, which is rather a big disappointment. You yeah. learned a lot about how to do a clinical trial and get patients into it, I'm sure. Yeah. Uh, we don't really have a lot of time to get into that, but I think that's not an unimportant lesson. So let me ask you something, since you now are in love with, a tr with this drug and know exactly what it should and shouldn't do, could it be used for other things, such as reducing fibrosis in aortic stenosis in the left ventricle, for example, and those kinds of things, or is this a drug that we're going to throw away? Well, you know, I hope that there's uh, some, some disease state that benefits. I don't think it has enough of an anti-fibrotic effect, but two areas where I think it might be interesting is post-MI to reduce the infarct size, for example, or reduce the onset of heart failure. The other one is, because it's so cardioprotective and improves mitochondrial function, et cetera, maybe as a drug for cancer cardiotoxicity. You know, well, so you start idea. it at the same time as you're starting a high-risk patient on yeah. you know, uh, uh, doxorubicin or something I like, like that. that. Thank you. Yeah. In any case, nalidocin is probably not going to go away right away. I'm sorry that your trial didn't turn out to be great. So preserved ejection fraction heart failure is still an ongoing problem. We need something to take care of these people, yeah, yeah. Sanjeev. I, I agree. Thanks for coming. Thank you.